but I think I can safely say this is one of the, one of the hardest, if not the hardest, long runs I've ever had to do. Uh, this whole thing started off, well, this wasn't technically in the week of 70 miles. My long run prior to the 70 mile week was an 18 mile cut down. I shaved the stash, sadly. And that Monday following my recovery day wasn't really recovery because I went to the trampoline park with the kids. So Tuesday was the first day of miles on the 70 mile week. And I already made a video, episode 8 of the 242, Chicago 242 series. Wanted 310 to 320 per kilometer, but only hit 322 to 330 per kilometer. You can go check out that episode if you'd like. And then my son was uh, trying to get his mile PR all week as well, which he, he snagged a 720. It's pretty epic. <laughs> really wanted to incorporate more food in this one like what I'm eating regularly so this is a, a go-to of mine from Trader Joe's at the studio at work uh, these wraps or salads from Trader Joe's something that's fairly clean has carbs and protein maybe I could do without the cheese in this one but the salads are usually pretty great so moving to Wednesday we had this 15 mile long run medium long run on the docket fueling with a banana and some graham crackers prior to the run and then going with my uh, go-to spring energy awesome sauce just one of those as well as some uh, body glide that construction next to the construction workers and for sure tweaked my quad which is just awesome so happy I did that the medium long run important volume getting volume on your legs doesn't need to be hard does not need to have surges i try to keep it at my now easy pace 720 730 mile and uh yeah get up to this week going for 70 miles I'm supposed to run 15 today but i have a doctor's appointment at three i did not time this well so to cut it at like 13 miles i try to pick up three miles in the evening because i missed another mile yesterday I'm not hell-bent on getting 70 miles this week, as long as I don't get injured. And try to recover the best I can. So, 12 miles in the bag. Wanted 15, but... Gonna catch up on more miles later in the week. Arguably one of the most important runs in any training block. The recovery run. I suck at chilling out on these. Trying to go around eight minute pace today. Probably end up around 750 per mile. Chilled out. Chill, chill, chill. Love the on cloud surfers. I 
supposed to do four, but I ended up doing six to get that extra mileage. Just needed two more extra miles for the week to get back to on 70. This is our typical coffee routine. Uh, I typically make coffee for my wife and I in the morning. This morning I got back before the kids woke up and started making the coffee. We love doing pour overs. I know it might be super fancy for some of y'all, but this has been our regular routine for six or seven years now. Baby got up, finished making coffee with the baby. Don't touch. I typically eat these fig bars and uh, a bagel with cream cheese. This is like my typical breakfast. Some element hydration multiplier with the coffee going to the studio. I decided to run in the afternoon this day. Got a little apple in. Got six more miles of recovery. And I love running the Chicago course. You can see the blue line there. Just creature of habit. Pillar has been my go-to for magnesium supplement at night. <laughs> and it's been helping me like crazy sleep super solid. Laying out my stuff for a medium long run tomorrow. I do this when I know I have to wake up early because it'll force me to get out of bed or it's at least one more motivating factor just right next to the bed. With my banded singlet, love this singlet. It's been amazing all summer. I have uh, Tracksmith ankle socks. I have a running belt because normally I run with half tights. All my half tights are dirty, so I have a running belt whenever I wear shorts. Since I don't wear shorts that often, I have body glide to l make sure I don't shave with shorts. And then I have one gel because I'm running 14 miles. So only need one gel for that tomorrow. It won't be crazy paces. I'm gonna go with the Nike Pegasus 39s, the workhorse they promised to use. So, yeah. Ever since I heard Megan Featherston on Feel for the Soul, podcast Feel for the Soul by Believe in the Run. She recommends graham crackers. I've been digging these. Four runs, just snacking, lots of carbs. I pushed and I pulled and finally got out of there. Oh my goodness. I've always loved frosted shredded wheat. I realized this is a decent source of carbs as well. So snacking on this outside those Trader Joe lunches at the studio at work. Did it, was that a frame and then it came in? Mm, yeah. Wow. CLA sent me some stuff I wanted to show you guys. You see me wear my CLA caps. It's always the hats I wear. I've never received anything from them. Very excited to get some stuff. Um, I think they sent me a racing kit and three new hats. Oh yeah, all the monochromatic, just how I am. A nice all white. Oh, not too bad. Tan letters. This one's like, it's like a kind of a meshy fabric on the side that's really stretchy. Oh, that one's too small. <laughs> <sighs>
If you have a big head like I do, you can take, you can buy these little bands on Amazon, like on your Garmin, on your watch, these, these little connector pieces, and they fit perfectly for your hat as well. I don't have them on here, but my other hats that are like this when I wear them, they have that little floppy thing. I, uh, I just put one of the wristwatch bands around that section, locks it in. Are they three inches? Oh! Good. Oh, there's a barn door. Wait. <laughs> wow, they hooked it up with the right color palette. My plan called for five miles of recovery this day, but I ended up doing seven just to add two more miles to make up for the four that I missed earlier in the week to get to that 70 mile mark. You gonna have it? No. For me? No. Oh. Sweet mystery, what do you have left to hide? Something up your sleeve Keep your secrets, I don't mind Gonna find my way oh. New package from Bandit Just got some Bandit socks I think I'll be repping these tomorrow in the long run Never had any Bandit socks before Pretty stoked on it They feel very nice Expect nothing less And my half tights, my uh, rabbit half tights, the side pockets are starting to get some holes in them. So I got bandits half tights, which I am so stoked on. Cause there are two side pockets here on each side. So a lot of the philosophies of this book I've applied to my last training block and this training block with marathon pace miles in long runs, it says, Long runs at marathon race pace directly prepare you for the demands of the race. The principle of specificity of training states that the most effective way to prepare for an event is to stimulate that event as closely as possible. And it goes on to say, ideally you'd wanna do that at the marathon distance, 26.2, but that's gonna be too taxing on the body. It's gonna negate any benefit of the effort. So the training programs in this book include up to four runs in which you'll do eight to 14 miles of a longer run at goal marathon race pace. So my 18 miler, in the morning is 14 miles at marathon race pace. And what it says here is, on these runs you should use the first few miles to warm up, then finish the run with the prescribed number of miles at marathon race pace. So my other long runs that don't have prescribed marathon race paces in the plan, I've been going one on, one off, or two on, one off, um, bouncing back and forth throughout the later uh, half of the workout. But tomorrow what I'm gonna attempt to do is run four miles warm up, and then the last 14, I'm gonna go 6.05 to 6.10, maybe cut down in the last few miles if I'm feeling good. So pray for me. All right, I'm getting all prepped for the morning. I'm gonna do some Cheerios, some Honey Nut Cheerios before bed, some nice carbs in here, it's like 30 grams of carbs per serving. And then tomorrow morning I will do a bagel with banana and peanut butter. I have all of my gels here. I have the Martin caffeinated spring, then the normal 100 Martin, then spring. I have salt pills back there. These are all going to go in the side pockets of the bandit half tights I just got. I'm going to put Gatorade in these black cups here, kid cups, and then water in these. And I'm going to set those out on the table for each loop. And then I'm going to drop the cups at the corner of my block after I drink them. Go to bed. 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 I can already tell there's a decent bit of wind outside. The trees are rustling. Um, 
pretty nicely. So trying to get in that headspace of knowing that that's the case. Four miles of warm up, and then we're going hard on 14. This is super intimidating. I don't know if I've ever felt this intimidating before a workout for a long run. Setting up cups out front right now. Table's all set up. Pockets are full. Let's do this. Lots of really negative thoughts already hitting. Stomach does not feel good. I feel like I have diarrhea just sitting right there. I'm gonna play it by ear. About almost halfway through the warm up. Might need to just sit on the toilet again before I go out for the 14. Also feel like I just ate and drank too much. I already feel like I'm gonna puke. I don't know if that's just cause nerves or just too much bagel, too much coffee. A skunk just charged me. Like straight up just intimidated me. Like, what, like, what's up? Didn't spray me. I just about grabbed my pants. All right, so I came in to use the restroom, emptied the tank, and in that warm up, I already felt nauseous, which is not normal at all. So I'm trying to just take a little time before I run these fast miles or attempt to at least to let my stomach settle down to try to digest some of that food. I'm realizing I ate the bagel way too close to the start of the workout, so. Not the best start to this, um, feeling pretty down on myself, honestly, and in a negative headspace once again, which is unfortunate. But I feel like if I give it some time and like get my body and mind right, that I can finish this out, hit the 14 miles at these faster paces. So here's to hoping. In my head, there's a voice that I don't know. Done my best, such a long way left to go. We go. I'm gonna find my way. Oh, oh, oh. All right, marathon pace miles for 14. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Immediately nauseous. As soon as I started taking my second gel, led to me puking at just before eight. Took a two minute walk break, finished the gel, took some Gatorade, back out. A little bit less than six miles left. I think I got this. I have 14 total miles. Taking a quick walk break again. Not stoked about this, but I gotta finish this four more miles. I'm really suffering. It's another two miles. Another walk break. 16 total. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the last two. I'm sure I get some good right I'm dying. My support crew. What's up, guys? Good morning. You wanna hold that for me? Yeah. Thank you. 16 miles total, uh, two more. I'm gonna try to go out at marathon pace again, but I can't imagine I can hold it for two more, so I think I might do one more marathon pace mile and then one cool down mile. But I think I can safely say this is one of, one of the hardest, if not the hardest, not the hardest that I've ever had to do. Seventy mile a week in the back. 